So to prove this result, um, we consider integrating, integrating f bar e to the s t around this contour. So take the limit as r goes to infinity, and also these things. So it's basically as delta goes to zero and epsilon goes to zero of the uh, integral around that contour, gamma of f bar of s e to the st ds. Okay, so uh, this is it's the integral we actually want is um, this integral here, which will be the uh, the inverse the inverse transform. Oh, sorry, inverse transform of f bar f t. Um, we're going to have the integral from b to c. Um, the integral from c to d and g to h and h to a. Um, so these, I'll just to save writing, I'll just put dash dash. Um, so b to c, uh, c to d, um, g to h and h to a. So we're assuming, as, as usual, that f bar of s goes to 0 as mod s goes to infinity. So um, in a similar way to, as, as we proved before, the integral along here, 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 and here um, will all go to 0. So all of these will tend to 0, um, as long as this is true. Um, so that leaves us with three integrals left integral along here, along here, and around this little circle here, or nearly a circle. Um, now, because there's a branch cut along uh, negative real s, uh, the integral along here does not cancel this integral along here. If they did cancel, then it means that there would be no branch cut there. Uh, so, um, uh, let's just evaluate these integrals, but we expect to get to get this term from those integrals, but um, let's just uh, let's just check that. So um, okay. yeah, so what I wrote here is actually slightly wrong. Because um, this is this is two pi um, yeah this is actually sorry this should be two pi i yeah. Because um, when I mentioned, uh, I, th this is equal to 2 pi i times the sum of the residues. Um, so the, the integral I actually want is this integral here divided by 2 pi i. So I forgot the 2 pi i here. And I think that's the same in a previous video. OK. Um, so integral from d to e, what does that give us? Well, let's, let's write s as s equals r times e to the i pi. And if we've got branch cuts here, we're, we're, we're taking um, the argument to vary from pi round to negative pi. So along here, we're going to write s equals r e to the minus i pi. And obviously, ds is equal to minus dr in both cases. Um, OK, so we'll get the integral. Now we can take the limit as r goes to infinity. So it's from infinity to 0, and these go into 0, from infinity to 0 of f bar r e to the i pi times e to the, and then e to the st turns into e to the minus r t, since s is minus r. Um, and then ds uh, becomes minus dr. So I'll use the minus to change this to a, to a minus here. And then we've got the integral from 0 to infinity. 
Um, along here where r is s is e to the r times e to the minus i i pi times again e to the minus r and uh, again ds turns into minus dr so i end up with a minus sign here from the ds equals minus dr um, and then the final integral is around here, around this little circle. So it's actually a clockwise integral around that circle. Um, so we have plus the integral from um, plus pi to minus pi and it's a limit as epsilon goes to zero of so here we've got s equals epsilon times e to the i theta so differentiating we've got um, uh, ds is equal to, let's write this first, so it's e to the st, so e to the st is So um, let's tidy things up a little bit. Uh, so this goes, this thing here, we can write as uh, basically this thing here. Is, it's 2 pi i times the sum of the residues. So if we then divide by everything by 2 pi i um, and move things around, then Basically, basically, we can see, see we, we're going to get this result um, because this thing, as we take the limit as epsilon goes to zero, is going to go because you've got e to the epsilon times something. Well, whatever that something is, as epsilon goes to zero, this tends to one. So this tends to one as epsilon goes to zero. So we end up with this left times i. When we divide by i, um, by 2 pi i, we'll just get 2 pi left. Um, Swapping the limit signs gives us a minus sign. Moving this over to this side, uh, we get the correct sign. So this is where this is where this term comes from. And dividing this, uh, we can swap the limits, change this to zero. Let me see if we put a plus sign here. Then we get um, this minus this, um, which is what we've got here, um, both times e to the minus rt. And when we move it onto the other side, we'll get the minus sign. And obviously we're dividing by 2 pi r. So we, we've, um, we've shown this now.